Hello, my name is Evan Wolf, and today I'd like to share with you a project that I've been working on and off for over four months. And uh, for all those who have ever thought to themselves, I would like to do Morse code with my bowfang. Please raise your hand. Never too old for hot glue. All right, for the demonstration. So first of all, um, I have a cigarette lighter to banana jack adapter. Thanks to Peter, the AG7 MBH, um, for this. And that's going to plug into my regulated power supply. This would also work good in the car. Um, secondly, we have our Super Duper Bofang UV5R. We all know about these, I won't discuss it. And then lastly, here is our Altoids CW modulator um, keyer that we've been working on. And with the switch, I have it left to transmit, middle is off, and then to the right is receive. And when you're receiving, um, just normal stations that are um, that you're monitoring will come through and um, it just acts like a normal speaker would on the bow thing when you put it in receive so. on this end is the um, portion that connects to the bow thing we'll plug that in real quick and there we go and now let's power up the kit Always remember to go black to red and red to black. Okay, so now it's powered up, and you might be asking how do I connect the Morse code keyer? So I just have a male headphone jack wired to speaker cord, and that's going to plug into the um, headphone jack that we wired in. So press that in and we're ready to go. So I'm going to turn on the Bofang. So I turn on the Bofang and then you notice I threw it and receive. If it was just an off that wouldn't have happened. I'll, I'll um, demonstrate again. So the Bofang turns on yet there's no sound. So one more time. I'll put it in receive and then I'll turn it on. Frequency mode. Okay. And for this demonstration, I'm on 146.520. That is a simplex frequency. Um, no repeaters are involved. And then this radio up here I have set to 14652 so we could hear the transmit. I'm going to turn it down just so you could hear um, the keying on this, or you could hear the side tone on this speaker. So. Put it into transmit.
Okay, and that was just the tone through this. So now I'm going to turn this radio up, the volume, and then it'll demonstrate. And you can see the bow thing. Hopefully you can see that in the video. It is, key, it is in fact keying up in the background. You can see the color um, changing. So I press the transmit switch. Press the transmit switch, and it takes a little delay, and then I'm going to send my call sign. Turn it off, and then it stops transmitting, and you see the Bofang stops transmitting, and um, so basically this kit is an upgrade from this previous one that I built, which I'm grabbing. Um, this previous one I built looks very similar, and then I actually had a cigarette jack um, that I had wired in for the power, except for when you transmit, no side tone um, was generated. I didn't use a double pull, double throw, and that little additional circuit um, or components to hear the side tone, and it was kind of annoying. I'd have to turn that to the frequency that I was transmitting on with a separate radio, and I and I figured this could be better, um, and that's that's where I added those. So, thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, um, feel free to ask. Thank you for your time.